Don't you love it when you've been on holiday for like three days and you're ready to start the holiday properly and enjoy yourself and you get that notification that you're admitted to the supplementary exam for your fucking stupid material science subject? Oh. <clears throat> Fuck my life. Good morning. I, uh, sorry that I'm wearing a shirt this morning. Someone asked in the comments the other day why I'm always shirtless and that. Obviously missing the shirtless scenes, but it's winter, man. It's a bit cold. Um, I'm struggling to get back into work mode for my material science sup. It's the only sup I have to write so far. It's next week, Thursday. It's Saturday morning now. Um, didn't get the mark I needed in the exam. So now I need 50 in the sup, and then I'll pass the subject, which I really need to. I don't know. There were some hard questions in the exam that were unexpected enough and I didn't know how to do and I will know how to do them by then so feeling pretty positive. I went and saw my high school's uh, major production, their school play last night, Chitty Chitty Bang Bang. It was really good. I really enjoyed it. Um, had friends in that who were acting in the play and they were, did, a, did a superb job. Well done guys. And yeah, going to see Nats and Kate and Jay and Taylor today. Going to meet up for some lunch which will be nice. And then straight back into work mode. Um, I remember I was complaining the other day about not having enough to do in my holiday. Well, the universe has provided with more studying to do. Anyway, see you now. We is here having a lunch. It is uh, very nice. There's Natalie and there's Taylor and there's Jay and there's Kate. Hi. Do you guys have anything to say to the world at large? Exams are done. Except for Tay. Ha ha! <laughs> <laughs> and those of us writing subs. There's quite a serious game going on here. I believe Nats is the best player at the moment because she's got the best gun. <laughs> Come on Jason, you got this. I believe in you. Final round begins now. Yeah, I got Kate. Hey, what's up? It's flippin' freezing in here. But uh, the Cosmox just came out, and I passed. I got 52% final semester mark, which is amazing, considering I did Cos on hard mode this semester, with like almost zero marks for all of the assignments, which count like a ridiculous amount for the marks. But 52% final mark means I got like 70 in the exam, needed 60, so mm, super, super happy. Man is smart, hard work does sometimes pay off. Um, yeah, just... Studying some NMC. I'm on chapter 7 now. It's going really well. Looking forward to writing this up on Thursday. Clapping it and then, um, you know, getting properly ready for the hiking trip. I'm so excited. It's really, really, really cold today. I got up early at like 6 to work. But yeah, some good news for a change. Man has passed cars. Yes! Once again this morning, I was reminded why uh, I'm studying my degree. I'm trying to film a video here. Um, once again this morning, I was reminded again why I'm studying the degree that I'm studying and why I'm so 
interested in technology and that. I was watching the SpaceX launch of the Falcon Heavy. I think this is only the third time the Falcon Heavy launched and uh, got all the satellites up into orbit, which is fantastic, which is the primary mission, and then uh, landed the two side boosters at Cape Canaveral back in the landing zone one and two, but then failed to land the, the center booster on the drone ship out in the Atlantic Ocean, uh, which is really sad because it's like $90 million down the toilet, but it's all accelerating humanity's um, push towards reusable rockets, which will enable cheaper space travel and allow us to become a multiplanetary species, all of those wonderful things that I'm going to see in my lifetime. And, uh, you know, calculus, maths, differential equations, all of that is uh, the basics of rocket science and the basics of what is going to be my generation's future. And so, once again, it's really exciting to be a part of that and to be a part of you know, something bigger than yourself and something revolutionary, really. Uh, I'm just going to fetch the dustbin. I think I forgot to mention it, but last night I went to my old high school and participated in the uh, alumni hockey game, which was really fun. Hey, be quiet, I'm trying to talk here. Um, so old boys playing against the current Heronbridge first team boys hockey team was really nice. Um, we only had eight players against their 11 and we had no goalkeeper. But regardless, we still managed to hold him off nil-nil all the way until half time, upon which the fitness started really showing and uh, we ended up losing 4-1 to them. But it was a really fun game. Thanks, guys, for the game. But, uh, you know, still got it. Still got the skills. It was great to be with the old teammates and that playing hockey once again. I mean, we play at res um, infrequently, but it was nice to have a proper hard game. Still got the skills, just the fitness is not there anymore. i um, been doing lots of gym, not cardio. So excited for August and September to get back into the running and that and see how quickly we can regain that cardiovascular health. Good morning. I see this battery's on 1%, so I'll be quick. Uh, lots of studying to do today. I got my hiking map for the trip next week. I'm really excited. It's a proper relief map, so uh, uh, there you go. That's where we're going hiking. I'm super excited, but two more days left of studying, then I can really look forward to this. Um, hope your day is going alright as well. Thursday morning now. I'm writing my sup this evening and then I will finally be on holiday properly. Really looking forward to it. Can't wait. It's freezing in here actually but uh, it's a good way to stay awake. I'm just doing some past problems on elastic recovery and plastic deformation. It's good stuff. Like I know so much and I know way more than I did during the exam but whether or not that translates to a good mark just depends on how hard the test is. So um, wish me luck. But yeah, it's a beautiful day today and I'm excited to start the holiday. So I made it back to campus. Uh, just gonna spend some time in the library for a bit, studying and that. It's not nice to be back, but Darren's on campus today studying because her electricity is out. Sorry, man, but I'm going to see her as well. Friendly face for a final day of exams. Hi vlog. How are you? It's me again. Did you miss me? <laughs> Which is just standing here. Have you already spoken to them about your standing desk? I haven't. This is only the second oh, time. Yes. Don't go too far. It's gotta be quiet in here. Oh sorry. This is only the second this is only the <laughs> second time I've ever been in the library. The first was during orientation week. This is the second. And it's really cool. Like you can eat down here and like drink. And it's, but it's just dodge as fuck, so I'm not gonna come here often. Dodge? No, it's too hot. But look, it's a standing desk. Look, mm, mm, yes, flex, flex. Yes, yes, boy, yes. I, for one, have been in the library many, 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 many times. <laughs> um, but I do find it weird that you can eat in the library, but you can't eat in the Eng Study Center. It's because it's, it's under different rules. It's under, like, engineering lab conditions. Yeah, but you can eat in the a library. No, How but, does that make sense? No, but the engineering building is sponsored by Sassel or something, and they had specific engineering rules because oh. it's like an engineering space. Like, it's almost mm. like a workshop. That's also why you can't wear hats. Oh. Like, yeah, you can do what you want. 
Okay, well, I just want to tell you guys that you guys must stay true to yourselves, be you. I hope you're enjoying your holiday. What the hell? What? <laughs> Why such a motivational message? It's a motivational TED Talk. Welcome to Darren's TED Talk. Um, yes, stay true to yourself. And I hope you guys are all having a lovely holiday if you're having a holiday, unlike me. So, yeah. Yeah, man here is only going to have two weeks of the four-week holiday. I'm going to have zero. Subs are a thing. Absolutely nothing. What? You do have a week. You're going away for a week. Maybe, yeah. Don't tell lies. Darren is going away. Back to work. I'm sitting by the fountain now. I've got a good like 10 minutes left of sun before it sets behind the humanities, not the humanities, behind the engineering building over there. Just gonna do a last hour of reading over my notes and then yeah, write this bad boy and go home. I'm exhausted and ready for that holiday. But it's very strange and peaceful to see Varsity so empty. I mean, look at this. There's no one around, just a few people around writing subs. So yeah, it's very pleasant. Don't wanna be here, but almost done. I'm here with Mika. Look, a friendly face. Mika's more stressed than I am at the moment. He's been sick and has got quite a lot of pressure. Sick and tired of being sick and tired. He's got quite a lot of pressure riding on this week of sups. Yeah. But yeah, last one. Let's do it. Yeah. <sighs> Don't know if you can see me, hopefully it's quite light out here. Campus is empty and scary and strange, but I finished my test. It was uh, very doable if you knew your stuff extremely, extremely well, which I did. It was still hard though, um, but I think I did okay. It's done, it's finished. It was very short as well. Subs are notoriously short and had a few marks, so a bit scared, but I guess we'll, we'll see what happens. And yeah, going home now to actually start the holiday, finally.